Hello everyone today I am going to show you how to use the slash fill command. It's a very simple command but is one of the most useful. Let's get into it. He first command fills an area with diamond blocks. It uses two coordinates which refer to the two corners of the fill. To get the coordinate of a block, look at the block, press F3 on your keyboard and look here. Those three numbers are the X, Y and Z values of that block. X and Z the first and last numbers, refers to the horizontal position of a block. Y, the middle number, refers to the height of the block. Y256 is the build limit and Y1 is bedrock level. What I do to quickly write down coordinates is that I look at the block, write slash fill in the chat and press tab a couple of times. Then I remove, fill and press Ctrl and Ctrl C to copy the coordinates. Then simply go into the command block and paste Ctrl V to specify which block we want to fill with we add the block at basically the name, after the two coordinates. Our fill command is done. Next, we are going to use relative coordinates to fill. Relative coordinates refers to the position of the command block or player who's running the command. To use relative coordinates you write three tildes, or waves as I like to call them. Three tildes or waves means the position of the runner of the command. So for example, if we use this command we are going to fill the position of the command block with stone. We can add numbers after the waves to add or remove values from them. For example, we can write one after the middle tilde to refer to the position of the runner of the command, plus one y, which means, one block over it. So here we have two coordinates, one wave wave one wave, and the other one wave wave three wave. Thus, this command block fills an area from one block above it to three blocks above it. We can also do this with x and z. Finally, we are going to move on to special fill criterias. You add these after the type of block you want and there are a few of them. The first one is replace which for you also need to specify which block type we want to replace. For example, this command replaces gold block with diamond blocks in and select area that is specified which relative coordinate is. The next special add-on is destroy, which simply drops the blocks that got filled out, and plays a sound and particle effect as if you had broken the blocks. This works best if you fill an area with air. Next we have hollow and outline. They are pretty similar in the sense that the fill an area that is hollowed but hollow makes all blocks inside air blocks while outline keeps them. Here are two examples. Last one is keep, which basically does what replace air does. It fills an area but keeps all non-air blocks. But that is everything for today. All the commands are in the description below. Consider liking and subscribing if you liked the video, it really helps out a lot. See you later.